guys. So uh, I got my track all marked out, and uh, I, I, I wasn't sure. I don't want to mess up this this riverbed because you know if you mess it up uh, with the kind of styrofoam, I guess I could get styrofoam blocks and put back in and kind of shape it up. But I really don't want to have to go through that. So what I'm going to do is my mountain's going to come out over in this area. So what I figured I'd do is I would take a piece of newspaper and kind of draw it out, cut it out, and lay it and see what I think. Um, uh, that way, if I don't like the way it looks, I can get another piece of newspaper, cut it out, see what I lay it down, see what I think, and go from there. So basically, I'm just going to kind of go from my, my uh, um, bridge here and start... And kind of go on, go on up. Um, and then what I'll do now that I have that drawn out, I'll just take it, take my scissors here, and I'm going to cut that out uh, like this. It's, can you tell it's Sunday? I got the funnies. That wasn't very funny. I'm usually a funny guy, believe it or not. Um, at least that's what my wife and kids say. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect because you're when you're cutting it out, you 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 know you're trying to go for you know not it does, you don't want it to be a perfect look, so you just kind of do your best. So you cut that piece out, then we'll go around here and cut this side out as well. And then uh, once we get this done, if you like the way it looks, uh, once you get it done, then you can uh, tack it down with uh, safety pins or, or something like that. Uh, if you have something like that, or heck, you could even use your brad nails. Um, So, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff, so hopefully this turns out good. That's why I didn't, really didn't want to freehand it. I figured this way, you know, you can at least get an idea. So, now that I got that done, what I'll do is just kind of lay it here like that and see what, you, see what I think. I actually kind of like that. I may just kind of do something a little different right in this area. Um, but uh, I think that looks pretty good. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. So that's how I do it, or how I'm doing it. Um, if you want to do it a different way, you could, but I think that's the best way to do it. So, Okay, guys, as you can see right there, I, I went ahead and went with the first one I did. Um, and uh, what I what I did is I tacked it down with the with uh, the brad nails, um, and then uh, I traced it with my marker. So now I can uh, I'm at the point now where I can take my track off because uh, I got all my track marked. I've got uh, my riverbed marked. I've got my edges marked here, so I know um, how my uh, styrofoam board is going to go back up. I am ready to cut out the riverbed and then uh, glue after I get done doing that then glue down the uh, styrofoam so with that said uh, I'll go ahead and start taking apart the track in sections I'm going to try to do as large sections as possible that way I'm not putting a whole bunch back together um, when I put it back on and then uh, once I get that done I'll uh, do a little more and show you how I'm going to cut out the riverbed what tool I'm using and how I'm going to do it so um, we'll hope to have that done here shortly and have this video up this afternoon, so. Okay, so now I'm at the, um, cutting stage of the riverbed. As you can see, I already started there. Um, but, uh, I'll kind of zoom in and give you an idea how I'm doing it. Um, I am using a, like a drywall knife of some sort. Um, I use it to cut drywall. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. So I'm using that. Um, 
And like I said, I'm basically, I'm going at an angle. Um, I want it to, you want it not to be straight up and down because if you go straight up and down, it's not going to look like a ripple. So I put it in. Just cut it at an angle. And you've got to be careful because you don't want the board, you don't want the board to break. So, there you go, you cut it at an angle like that, and do the same thing over here. Just kind of work your way around. You're not going to get exactly the way you want it, but you'll get close. I brought my bridge just to kind of give me an idea of where I'm at, um, because I haven't decided how I'm going to put it together yet, so I can at least stick it there and kind of work with it. Um, I'm also saving these pieces that I cut. Uh, let me zoom out here a little bit. Oops, sorry about that guys. Anyways, I'm zooming, or, uh, let's see here. I'm saving these pieces that I cut here because I can use those to build up my train as I go. So I'm going to finish cutting that out and uh, then take the uh, board back in. Remember, you don't want the side to be completely um, clean. You don't want this uh, a real clean cut because you want it to be rough. It's, it's a riverbank, so uh, I'm not going to really smooth that out. I'll try to get some of the little pieces off because I don't want it to be a mess if I'm in the room, but uh, that's how you do it. Okay, so now I got it cut out. I didn't do quite the angle that I wanted to, but um, I figured I'd make it look more, since we're in a mountainous area, I figured doing the steeper grade would be okay because um, since this is going to be a mountain over here, you usually have a deep gorge um, if you're going to have water around it. So I thought thought the steep cliffs would uh, or steep banks would look good um, with it. So that's kind of where my river is. Um, I just set one bridge up there just to show uh, show you what it's going to be. Um, so now that I've got that, what I can do is I can go ahead and get this um, styrofoam, put the glue on it, and uh, glue it down, and then uh, move on to uh, mounting the track back on and and uh, we're well on our way. So that's how you do uh, riverbeds the way I'm doing it. <laughs> we're cutting it out the way I'm doing it. Um, also if you're gonna do if you're wanting to do a river like that you may not want to use uh, quite as thick of, of styrofoam. I use the thicker styrofoam. I like the look of it. Like I said since it's um, a mountain scene I like the look of it so um, that this thick styrofoam is doing me justice for what I want. So on to gluing. Okay, now that we have that cut out, we're going to use the liquid nails to put this down. So you're just going to start running beads across like this. You want to get kind of close to the edge, but not too close because you don't want it to smear out. So we're going to run it all the way up and down like this. Just kind of get it around so, you, so it sticks to the, the plywood real well. And then like I said, once you get it on there, you'll want to uh, move your plywood around to uh, kind of spread the glue. You can't have too much. You don't want it to go anywhere. So it's not going to hurt, as long as, like I said, you don't get it too close to the edge where it squirts out and you have a big mess to clean up, but I think I'm going to run a little closer there just to, like that, and then a little more over here, and I think we'll be good. So 
So, now that I got that done, set this down. And we'll take this and turn it over, and then uh, put it into place. Hopefully, no issues. other one's lined up here. Sorry I moved the camera I know because I just did sit on my, my sheet. And it looks like I got this one lined up pretty good. There I moved you again. But I need to make sure I got everything lined up before I put stuff on it. To hold it down and it do. That looks pretty good. Check the other side one more time. Looks like we're good. So now I'm just going to put some weight on there to hold it down. around. <sighs> Need to get something here in this corner because that's not staying down. And then uh, should be good. So that's how you uh, how you put it down. <laughs> 